Jen here. I don't know if you can tell by the giant tree behind me, but I am here on Main Street USA at night. It is 7.30 p.m. It is Thanksgiving evening here in the U.S. And I had a few hours. The Magic Kingdom's open till nine. So I have an hour and a half of Magic Kingdom and lights and Christmas and I get to see the projections for the first time ever because we've never done a Christmas party so we've never seen the projections dude I'm like shaking I'm so excited but let's get inside because I like need Christmas let's go we wish you a Merry Christmas we wish you a Merry Christmas we wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy everything about Magic Kingdom at night. But look, they have different colored lights on the different nutcrackers. And how beautiful is this tree? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, wow, that is the view. This looks amazing. That is a lot of people, holy Hannah. Um, I'm gonna head up that way. See if I can find a little corner to hide in up closer. So this insanity, this line is the line for the Emporium. You enter halfway down Main Street. There is a few hundred people in this line. Woo. It's interesting, because it seemed like there was a million people when I was standing down Main Street. There's really not that many people here. Everybody is really well spread out. This is nice. So pretty, right now it's stationary on this one, but can you see the snowflakes spinning? In the middle of the snowflakes are mini hidden Mickeys. Oh, this is like everything I needed tonight. Oh my gosh, I got that. I can't believe I got that. That was, oh, it changed. Oh, that was cool. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm actually crying. This is amazing. Oh, so, oh, it's a, it's a, I think it's like present wrapped, like gift wrapped. So pretty. That one did not have fireworks. And just so you know, it changes every 15 minutes and there are four different designs. So it goes through four designs an hour, basically. So yeah, I'm spending most of my hour and a half standing here waiting for the castle to change. And it's totally worth it. What I didn't notice is the trees around the outside are changing colors too, because the last go round they were all green, and now they're all straight red, and the trees right behind are all white. Very cool. Can you see how the candy canes like swirl a little bit? It's not like an actual like true projection show like at Hollywood Studios, but there is a little bit of movement to it. So it's and it's nice to just sit here with like the spotlights and the little bit of movement and the Christmas music. Just put me in a great mood. Oh man, I wish I was more zoomed out for that. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Did you hear all the kids in the crowd? Oh, this is everything. This is a really pretty one. And when the castle is like the bluish purple, the trees are all purple. Very, very cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. I. Honestly, I hope they do away with the, the lights, the ice lights, and do this every year. This is way better. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing looking. I love everything about this. Oh. Main Street is so pretty at Christmas. I love everything about it. I love that the projections are up around the side of the castle, so if you're coming up on the left side of Cinderella's castle, you get to see the projections too. And it's a really cool, different perspective of the castle makes for great pictures. So I'm making my way through Frontierland. It's about 34 minutes before park close. I wanna walk through Pin Traders, and then I'm probably gonna head over to Big Thunder, because um, I love riding that at night. Oh, and the post of wait time's down to 20 minutes, even better. Several bad puns later. And the camera wouldn't focus, and I got none of that. Sorry guys. We really gotta, be, gotta get a better nighttime camera. So it's 8.47, if I walk really fast, I'm hoping I can make it to Jingle Cruise before it shuts down for the night. We'll try. 
Nine minutes left till the park closes. Stand by 15 minutes. What better way to close out a day at Magic Kingdom than with the Jingle Cruise? I didn't notice that this was all full of presents last time. That's awesome. Oh, it's kind of sad this tree has no lights on it. But the one across the way does. Oh, and there's the lit up with my favorite Christmas song. And it's Bing Crosby. It's the right one. On the bright Hawaiian Christmas day. This tree is so pretty. Christmas will be green and bright. The sun to shine by day and all the stars at night. Oh, that looks so pretty. They turn them on at night. I love it. And they've even added a little gingerbread man. And here's a better look at all the Christmas cards and stuff. They add it to the inside. I love it. amazing skippers lately that was fantastic oh, skipper Sean you're amazing he like just they were pulling a boat out so we sat for a while and he just never stopped he was just whipping out the, the puns and the one-liners and oh so good so it is now quarter after nine the parks officially closed and you can see the difference 15 minutes makes that's crazy and it cycled all the way back around to the blue since I walked away and it looks like nobody wants to leave tonight I mean there are people meandering their way forward but a lot of people are just sitting here soaking it in taking as many pictures as they possibly can and I don't blame them one bit out there's surprisingly no crowd whatsoever so I could take the monorail if I wanted but I don't because the walkway to the Grand Floridian has opened over by the resort launches and that's how we're going so to get to the walking path as you're exiting Magic Kingdom you want to head to resort launches number dock number two and instead of getting into the resort launch queue you hug this beautiful fence here on the right and this takes you to the walkway I'm officially on the brand new, fully completed walkway over to Grand Floridian. Let's see. I just went through the gate. It is 9.38. We'll see how long it takes to get there. So apparently I'm the only person crazy enough to do this. Um, I am all alone on this walkway. This is wild. I am literally the only person. Nobody behind me. <laughs> Nobody in front of me. Um, if you are alone, it's a little intimidating at night because it's like well lit, but not like the path is well lit, but like the woods are kind of right there. Um, obviously, nothing would happen because it's Disney, but it is a little weird. Although I bet you, like once they start the boat parade again, this will have some really cool views of the boat parade. I don't know that you would be able to, oh, you would actually be able to see fireworks from here too. You just wouldn't be able to see the castle. Slowest, oh, I'm gonna get crossing monorails. What? No. Monorails! 
So I'm coming up on the first of two bridges. I believe this is the rotating bridge. This is the bridge that took so long. Um, I'm gonna wait and look over to my left, see if I can see the floats. But this is really pretty. It's kind of cool that you can see the controls that moves the bridge when they turn it for when they start the parade back up. And this is the parade one and, oh, not quite far enough, hold on. This is a really cool view you don't normally get. Um, those, like, barges under the light, those are all the electrical water parade. Those are all the floats for that. And that's where they keep them docked at. That is wicked cool. I love when you get to see new things at Disney that you don't normally see. So many monorails! It's like the best spot for mountain. This bridge is really bouncy. It's kind of freaking me out a little. So I'm glad Lee's not with me because that thing bounces and Lee would, oh, look at the contemporary. Sorry, I guess I tricked easily. Lee would literally just be jumping along that to make me try make me sick. But I made it across bridge number one. One more bridge to go right over there. And then I actually make it to Grand Floridian property. Um, I can tell you I'm walking very slow. I keep stopping to take pictures and filming. Oh, see? Another very cool shot of those barges. Um, so this is gonna take me a lot longer than it normally would to make this walk, but it'll still give you an idea. <gasps> I just noticed on the other side of the bridges, it's all globes. And on this side of the bridge, can't see them at all. Can you focus on the lamp? I don't think I can. Oh, I won't focus because it's nighttime. But the lamps are different. They're more of like an old lantern style versus the globes on the other end um, to fit more with the upscale Grand Floridian theme. So cool, it goes right over you here. I'm gonna wait till it passes because sometimes they drip water. to the Grand Floridian. Now we are like at the outskirts. I still have to walk around to over by the lobby and all, but it took 20 minutes. And again, I walked very slow and stopped a lot to take pictures and film the monorail and all kinds of stuff. I normally walk fast. I probably could have done that in 15. Um, if you have kids, it's probably a good bet for 20 to 25. Um, normal walking pace, about 15 minutes. Not terrible. Now, I did it more because I wanted to try it out and see what it was like and how pretty it was. Um, for how short the lines were for the boats and monorails, boats and monorails would have been way faster tonight. If those are really busy, this is a great option to get back to the Grand Floridian. I wonder if they weren't supposed to let me go that way. I don't know. Um, you can't go back that way, but they let me come this way. Interesting. And the really nice thing is it spits you right out at Gasparilla Island Grill. So if you're coming back and you're hungry and you just want to hit the quick service, it is right here. Ooh, how pretty does this look at night when you can actually see them? That is beautiful. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here tonight. I'm back to the Grand Floridian. Um, this was a weird video all over the place. Sorry, I didn't film a ton. Like, I tried to do Big Thunder and it would not focus at all. So I feel like this is a very short video, um, sorry. And then I was gonna film at Enchanted Rose, but I missed the food by one minute. So now I gotta go find somewhere to eat. I'm probably just gonna hit like McDonald's or something. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys. Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.